Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben Hughes. We are the Hush Hush family, joined by some very polite guests. Hi, Schwab. And today we are at Port Aventura, and I cannot wait to show you around. It's our first abroad theme park ever on the channel. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. We've been in a little bit, not loads. You're seeing it just as we are. Come and join us while we explore this amazing place. Leo, excited? So this is a completely new theme park to me. I'm going to do my best to show you around. Uh, we're going to go, I think we're going to sort of head towards Shambhala first, which is looking amazing in the distance. You won't believe it. Wait till you see this. Shambhala, everybody. Absolutely awesome. Look how nice this place looks. Oh my God, it's so amazing to get to a theme park outside of the UK. Totally amazing, muy bueno. What a nice little lake. Now I believe there's some fireworks on this evening, maybe not. If there is, I'll show you. If there's not, you can see for yourselves. Now the queue times have been pretty big, but apparently this evening it should be a little bit quieter. It's been like two hour queues, which I suppose we're all used to being theme park enthusiasts. But uh, we're not great queuers. It's not so bad in a place you've never been before. But our biggest issue is Gio has to wait for his while we're queuing. But uh, we'll do our best. I'll check the queue times. I'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed we get on some rides. And there's Furious Baco. I believe it's a launch coaster. It's a wing coaster. I know that. It's layered out like a wing coaster. But I think it's probably one of the first wing coasters. Very early wing coaster. It looks like it too. But I've heard great things about it. Fast launch. Let's see how it is. So we're well in the park now. We have a Savetha. And I'm not too sure of the queue times yet. I'm going to check them and keep you up to date. We're just walking around exploring at the moment. So far looks amazing awesome park but uh, i'm really not too sure where we're going i'd like to go straight to shambhala i've got to be honest i had a little go with shambhala yesterday and it's absolutely awesome it became my number one coaster so i've got to show you all that now here's some of the signs we're going far west shambhala where are we going guys rapids we're gonna go rapids first we're going to mexico we're gonna go should we go on a rapid should we go on a rapids first yeah yeah oh yeah with us Rapids, uh, rapids, uh, rapids. Uh, rapids. Uh, too many Cervethas. Beers, too many beers for you English. English. Cheers. Salut. Look at the theming round here. That is just awesome. It's nice to know, I believe, that Port Aventura was once owned by the Two Swords Group. Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong on that, but I do know that John Wardley, who we appreciate and admire a lot, had uh, a lot to do with building this park, including designing Stampede. And here's the rapids. Okay, we've managed to split up. Hola! Right, so the first thing we're doing is Grand Canyon Rapids. And here's the entrance. And it looks like a zero minute queue. That ain't zero minutes, but it is no more than five minutes. Cinco minutos. Esperar. No problemo. Let's go. Grand Canyon Rapids. I wonder if it's better than the Congo River Rapids. I don't know what we're going to do with these drinks. I'm trying to get it down me, but uh, yeah, I'm a bit drunk to be honest. <laughs> Hola, como estas? Hola, Sasa! Where's the rest of my party? Rapido, rapido. Rapido, rapido, por favor. Pronto, pronto, rapido. Quick, 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 otherwise I'm going to hit the barrier. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I like it. 
Yeah, oh, hold on. Oh, it's not a roller coaster, hold on. Yeah, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. oh. You'll headbutt it. No, you will headbutt it. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, me. <laughs> well, that is the shortest rapids on record. I'll be honest. And look how wet they've got. I know, yeah. <laughs> right, so we just come off the rapids. Rapids were good. Short, but a soaker. Did you enjoy the rapids? Loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a bit wet. So we're currently in the far west, and honestly, the theming is awesome. It's decent. Hola! Bumper cars for the little ones. Small circuit. Good. Look at the theme in here. Still in Far West, of course, if you couldn't guess already. Awesome. Okay, there. Sweet shop. Muy bien, cariño. Empezaremos caliente un poco. La historia es la siguiente. Nuestro protagonista, Nuestro protagonista, Marilyn Dupont, empezará la escena caminando, teniendo una reflexión sobre sus pensamientos aquí en las calles de Pendens. Por ejemplo, ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahora, mate? Stampede. ¿Sí? Parece que es una hora de 5 minutos. No es tan malo, ¿es? 5 minutos para Stampede. Port Aventura's wooden coaster. Now it's a racing coaster, I know that much. And this was designed by John Wardley. And it's quite special to be honest. We have ridden it once before, but only once. And we're going for it again. Gio, what did you think of this ride yesterday? Best ride out here. Best ride? Oh, he goes it, and then he goes, Left yeah. it, didn't you? Yeah, I love it. Going for it. Now you have to choose the side. You choose red or blue. And red, I think red, we, were, we were on red yesterday, red, and we won. No, Gia was buzzing with that. I've just been rattled to within an inch of my life. Oh my good God. Not smooth by any means. <laughs> bone rattler. Definitely a bone rattler. Good ride though. Definitely getting a bit old. Designed by John Wardley, the legend himself. Fair play. Good layout, but yeah. Far from smooth. Next ride. Not sure what we're doing yet. Keep you up to date. Wow. I need a toilet. Shambhala is showing a zero minute queue. Can you believe it? Zero minutes. Dragon Khan is also showing a 10 minute queue. Diaz Minutos. How good is that? Muy bueno. So we're going to walk over there now, caminar, and get on those rides. Can't wait. Absolutely can't wait. Shambhala, world class, at least for us anyway. It's hard navigating a new park, but we're getting there. Walking back through far west, over to, I think it's China. China, that's the good thing about Port Ventura. Different themed areas based on different areas in the world. And of course, I'll try and show you as much as I possibly can as we go. I don't know where the family are. Crazy lot. Muy loco. It's too quiet. Why is it too quiet? Where is everyone? They are not there, that is why. Gracias, muy bien. 
Adios. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Shambhala and Dragon Khan in the distance. We've not done Dragon Khan yet. I have done Shambhala, it's an awesome ride. Getting straight back on it. Oh my god, I love it so much. I once held uh, Europe's tallest coaster record. That's all I know. I'll try and find out some more facts, but all I know is it's absolutely awesome and that's a fact. But the theming in this place is amazing. I suppose it's easy when you live in a place that's hot and you can have all these trees growing naturally. What a place. Well, this is Sesame Street, of course. We're familiar with Sesame Street, Almo, and all the rest of them. Lovely little world, lovely little area for the kids. I think she was a bit young for this now. Uh, sorry, old. He's definitely a bit old. Probably more too proud than anything. Gio, what do you feel about Sesame Land? Are you too old, too young? What are you saying? Old. Too old now, yeah? It's a bit of an awkward age. Bit of an awkward age for Gio because he's ready to get on. He's ready to get on all the big rides, but uh, he's just not quite tall enough. 136 centimeters. He's not quite tall enough. Are you looking forward to getting on Shambhala maybe next year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, it's like the bus, bus to go on that. So subscribe. Not, it is a bit like that. Subscribe. Look at the theme in here. And there's Shambhala looking at absolute beast. Let's flip. Hey? flip this because this looks really good. It does look good, doesn't it, Gio? I agree. It looks Let's awesome. See, what an amazing area. And I suppose I'm a bit gutted Gio's not a bit smaller to appreciate it, but there's Shambhala in the distance. Oh, can't wait to get back on that bad boy. the gate. The doors. The doors. The doors. The doors. The doors. There's no door. Can you see a door? No, but my mum thinks there's a door here. No doors. Waiting by the doors. What doors, love? It's such a good looking park. Everywhere you turn, it's good theming. Beautiful. And there's Shambhala. That's the first drop. And I don't suppose it looks that big on a drop on the video, but it is big. Dragon Khan going again there. Just come off Shambhala and oh my god, does not disappoint. Second ride, awesome. Lee, what's your thoughts? I said I wanted to roll on. I did. Let me tell you, I really did. There's no other choice, I don't think. If you can put your hands up all the way, you're a genius. Top rides. Okay. And you didn't even put your hands down. No. Now it's fair 
fair to say everyone who's been on Shambhala absolutely loved it and I rate it. It's my favourite co my favourite coaster ever. Honestly, if you can get out here, do so because if you've just ridden the coasters in the UK, you'll know they're not too tall. They're not like this anyway. Even Hyperia, our brand new tallest coaster, isn't as tall as this. But honestly, if you can get out here and ride it, do so. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to head over to Dragon Corn next because the queues at the moment are really quite low. Now what you will notice from this vlog is that actually we've had to spread it over multiple days because actually it's a very, very busy theme park. We're talking two hour queues, especially in the peak times like now in the summer. We've come in June and June, even June is busy. So July, August, September is going to be heaving. Um, because we're staying in Port Aventura Hotel, it's easy for us to access this on an evening and get what we can done. We will try and come in the day. I think we're going to have to buy fast tracks to spend a whole day here, which of course we'll include in this vlog and I'll keep you up to date with everything. But for now, we're heading over to Dragon Corn. Can't wait. We're at Dragon Corn. Five minute wait, don't even think it's going to be that. I can see the station right there, talking walk on. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Scoffing popcorn. And say there you go. Had an awesome ride on Dragon Corn. Bit of a headbanger, I'll be honest. Hurt my head a little bit. I don't know, I've had too many Therbethas, too many beers, but a good ride, fantastic. I want to go on that drop tower. You want to go on the drop tower, do you? Yeah, I still meters. think you're a little bit small for it, but I'm going to bring you back to go on everything, yeah? And that's what he's talking about, the drop tower over there. So ballsy. I wonder who he takes after. I want to go on everything. Everything? Yeah, like literally everything. What? What's your favourite looking ride here? Probably Shambhala. Shambhala, I agree, it's oh, a beast. Or the Red Force. Red Force, um, yeah, well that's yeah. in Ferrari land, isn't it? No, the other red one, and that red one, the red one, So there's the entrance, there's the water park, and then we've got to go up here to sign into Port Ventura. Now what I've found being hotel guests, is that it's absolutely heaving in the daytime but because the park's now open till 10 we've been coming in on the evenings and sort of doing our vlogging on an evening in pieces to show you viewers the park as much as we can but we're not the best queuers so the two hour queues there's no way we can do that so it's amazing that we've been able to come in an evening like this and just go back to the hotel so easily so a little souvenir shop they got some nice merch to be fair wow this is a big shop look Gio, it goes all the way back there I don't know what the obsession is with Woody Woodpecker. Surely he's a bit dated. I've got some good stuff. Woody stuff. And I'd love some Shambhalery. Dragon Khan. There's Shambhala. Dragon Car merch. Uncharted. I do look back there. So, Gio, you had your first yogurt shake from here. I want to know, out of 10, what's your marks? Zero! Zero out of ten for a shake. Oh. Maybe one or two. Not recommended. One or two? Four yeah. yogurt. <laughs> Weird, wasn't it? So you don't think your viewers should stop for a, for a yogurt shake? Well, they should definitely stop for a waffle or something. A waffle, yeah, we've not tried them from there, have we? All right, so we found a ship and Gio's taken a liking to these. You never used to like him. 1.3 Gio and you're 1.36. How good's that? Con ticky wave. Let's go for it. Oh, and Tom, this is 1.2 and this is 1.3. It's less than that because you used to do it when you were younger. I'm sure it's 1.1 for the blade. In fact, no, it's less. I'm sure it's less for the blade. I'm sure it's less. Go on, let's keep walking. So I don't know what's so special about this, but yeah, it's 1.3 minimum height. I hope it goes uh, like full circle or something, which is definitely not going to, but let's see what it does. Okay, 
Let's rock and roll. Literally rock and roll. Hey Gio, did you enjoy your ride on that? It was okay, wasn't it? How do you think it compared to Blade? Pardon? Higher. Higher? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I'm not too sure. Mm. It's a quick cycle, wasn't it? It was over quite quickly. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're heading down this path now. One thing I like about this park is it's so picturesque. There's bamboo here everywhere. Look at that. That looks like we're entering China. Do you think this is China? Certainly not Wales, is it? Hello. Now we're going on Cobra Imperial. I actually have no idea what this is. Should we go on it? Yeah. Don't know what it is. Come on, eh? So it's one of these. Up and down, round and round for the little ones, but Gio's gonna get on it anyway. You getting on, yeah? Yeah? Uh, yeah. Be nicely themed, isn't it? Can we get it Yeah, good little ride, yeah? yeah. Now there's teacups here as well. No. But we're not doing those. Even though Gio's good at teacups, he's not doing them for some reason. Because we love a bit of spinning, don't we? Only a bit. Right. Yeah. See hot air balloons there. Hot air balloons, I can see them too. A lovely area, isn't it? picturesque this whole area awesome Shambhala over there Dragon Khan amazing and we did get on them yesterday of course it was the evening and it is much quieter in the evening like now it's quite late in the day I think it's half six coming on seven o'clock and Shambhala's on a zero minute queue cannot complain at that at all just left China I think we're heading to Mexico. There didn't seem to be a sign entering this little area. But we're going on Al Diablo, Tren de la Mina. Train of the Mine. You looking forward to Train of the Mine? Yeah. Yeah? It's like Runaway Mine Train, isn't it, at Alton Towers? This will be interesting. And this is only, it's one of only, I think, three decent coasters Gio can do here. So he's looking forward to this. You're going to give your review afterwards? Yeah? We'll try and get some videos of the, of the ride before we get on. Five minutes for Al Diablo Tren de la Mina.
what did you think of that ride then, Gio? It's really good. Really good? Yeah. Was it the same or better than a runaway mountain train at Alton Towers? Um, better? Definitely. I think I have to agree. Better in places. Three lift hills, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. The runaway mine train doesn't even have a lift hill. No, it doesn't. Do you know why? Because it's electric. Yeah, it's a powered coaster. Well done. Anyway, let's go and see what we're getting on next. Should we go and get the photo? Yeah? Four euros ninety-five for candy floss. Wow, can you fit any more in that mouth? It dissolves so I can eat it. Oh. Look at that. I think we might have to get on that. And check out the wait time. Let's see. Hell of a size drop tower. But to be honest, it looks like it's the same manufacturer as Apocalypse at Drayton Manor, which of course is no longer there, and we never went on. It looks pretty similar to be fair. Let's see. Hurricane Condor, it looks like it's called. Now, that was absolutely nuts. I had no idea that one, it was a standard thing. I thought it was like an option. In fact, I had no idea, but on Apocalypse, there was the option between stand up and sit down. We didn't get the option, we just stood and literally got taken up by our legs and then the other thing is it just kept going higher and higher and higher and then the other thing is it tilts forward none of this i had any idea about but it was good i actually enjoyed it i think i was a bit dramatic said a few swear words very naughty of me but here it is again absolute beast it's so forceful as well brilliant i actually enjoyed it i would go on it again geo would you go on that if you could yeah i just told mommy if, if you told her if you could you would I'm going to bring you back here and get all 140 rides done, aren't I, as soon as I possibly can. Yeah? We're talking about going to Italy next, aren't we? Visiting Gardaland. But we'll see. I'm not too sure yet. So this looks like the same sort of ride as the other ride we rode before. Zero minutes. Looks alright. Bit faster, maybe. Gio's not bothered about waiting for this. We're spoiled for choice with flat rides, a lot of them are quite similar, so we're not too first about getting on them all, but I will try my best. Uh, we're going to get them done, you know, a few in between here and there, of course, like I keep saying, this vlog is going to be recorded over multiple evenings. What are you seeing, Gio? I see Red Force in there. Yeah, I can see Red Force. That's another vlog that's going to be on the channel, Ferrari Land, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it's tomorrow. Not too sure. So, there's loads of lovely restaurants. This is a nice little themed area. Beautiful, isn't it? So there's another wooden coaster here called Tomahawk, which I think we're going to go. It's another wooden coaster geo called Tomahawk. Are you going to do it? Yeah. It's right next to Stampede. Are we going to get on? We've got a 10 minute wait for Tomahawk. I'm assuming I'm saying that right. And this should be nice. 10 minute wait, yeah? Let's get it done. Go, go, go. Tomahawk, wooden coaster. Yeah? What did you think of Tomahawk? Uh, mm. It's okay? Yeah. It's a bit like Wicker Man, wasn't it? Did you think it sounded like it? If it wasn't that quick, it would be okay. No, yeah. if it wasn't like that quick, it was really quick, but like at the end, we had to wait there for about an hour. We did, didn't we? Something was getting cleaned off the, off the train. I don't really know what. Oh, and there's photos here as well. So it was a good little ride, that, to be fair. Tomahawk. And honestly, it did. I, I, I'm, I'd be surprised if that's not the same manufacturer as Wickerman. 
Of course, it was nothing like Wicker Man, apart from the, you know, the trains and, and the sound of it. The sound sounded like Wicker Man, but I've just been dragged over here to check this out. Voltrix. That's Have a good time. Yeah. We're going on Stampeder again. Five minute wait, can't complain at that. Gio loves it. Absolutely loves it, he does. So glad he likes it. Out. Looking forward to this one. Is this your favourite ride in Port Ventura? Yeah, we're going on blue. For now, anyway, isn't it? Until you're bigger. Yeah, I'm going on blue. You're going on blue this time? Yeah. I agree. It's yeah, well, they won last time, didn't they, blue? But you can't tell who's going to win, you know. So we're here now for the fireworks, aren't we? And apparently it's across the lake. It's very loud. Not sure if you can hear me. Are you excited? Yeah. This should be good. I'm going to get a bit, bit of footage for you to see it, yeah? Yeah, this music is a bit loud, though. Yeah, it is, isn't it? included with our hotel stay is multiple restaurants across the Port of Ventura complex. Uh, it's almost impossible to get everything done at once but we've chosen to go and book into the steakhouse which is situated in the far west inside the Port of Ventura theme park. Now it is included but you have to pre-book and that's what we've done. Currently we're in a rush trying to get there so I'm going to show you that now. Hopefully it's nice. We've had the same food in uh, Port of Ventura because we've been so busy actually so hard to fit everything in you're so spoiled for choice really for the money they do give you a lot which is great uh, so it's going to be nice to have a bit of a change now I eat. nice to have a steak so 
So there we go, we're in the far west, it's quite a big area this, so still some walking to do. Really got my steps in on this trip. And here it is, a steakhouse. Let's see how quickly we get in, shall we? One thing I will say is it's super busy. Pal of a queue line. Look at that. That was one of the most stressful food ordering experiences I've ever experienced. I don't mean to speak down. I know it's difficult and a lot of people want it, but uh, yeah, not great. Um, included with your whole salon inclusive, adults you get a starter, a main course, a dessert and a drink, and kids get a main course and a dessert and a drink. And there's no steaks in a steakhouse. You choose from something like sausages or a burger or vegan chicken nuggets and ribs or something that's complimentary um, for all inclusive guests anyway. But this is what it looks like. So I've got a salad, I've been handed over nachos by somebody but that wasn't included in mine. I've got a burger, looks okay, just a single burger. And this is my chocolate cake. So there was different choices of dessert and starters but he's got a burger. He's got a burger. We've all gone for the easy option of a burger because to be honest, it wasn't that great in terms of food no. offering. No. I've got McDonald's. Hey? I've got McDonald's. From McDonald's? It tastes like it's from McDonald's. Yeah, it's alright though, yeah? Yeah. You're happy? Mark's out of 10? Uh, 10. 10 for the burger? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you're happy. That's good. That's good. We've had our dinner. I am absolutely stuffed. Don't rate it very highly to be honest with you. It was okay. Theme park food, you know? We're in Spain, I expect the food to be a little bit better than what we usually have, although in saying that, food at home isn't that bad at all, really. British food is not bad at all. And I say that with pride. But uh, yeah, typical theme park food. We're all full. Would be good value for money, I suppose. But of course, it was included with our, theme, with our hotel. Did you do your meal? Yeah, everything was 100 out of 10. Everything was what? 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10, you're happy then? Yeah. Okay. You're quite easily pleased with your food at the moment, aren't you? Well, except the chips, but yeah. Yeah? Okay. It's like KFC chips. Yeah, they were actually, with the skin on. Yeah, you're right. 